Hey, I'm Chris from Hot Mulligan, and today I've got three epic tour pranks for you. Prank number one, when we were on tour with Trophy Eyes and Seaway, who was their co-headliner, um, not fall of 2019, but fall 2018, uh, we had a photographer with us, and while she was sleeping, I took out my Oreos, and I outlined her body with the Oreos. <laughs> so that when she woke up and lifted the blanket, Oreos flew everywhere. I thought it was hilarious being a super sneaky place in the Oreos, but she pretty much just woke up and it wasn't a big deal. She said, why are there Oreos? And I told her I put them there. So maybe that one's not very epic, but I loved it a lot personally. Um, at the end, number two, yes. At the end of our first support tour, we were supporting Knuckle Puck for their B Market tour for the album Shapeshifter in March 2018. And on the last night in Indianapolis, we all rocked up on the stage with our vapes and became fog machines for them. I don't think they had a fog machine on that tour, so while they were playing, we're just getting down by their pedal boards, blowing big clouds, um, and then us and Free Throw and Boston Manor and Jetty Bones formed like a, a human pyramid on stage. I want to say someone fell, but I, I can't say for sure, but it's definitely asking for disaster. And my third and final tour prank, I have one more I'm going to say after this that hasn't been done yet, but my third and final prank was one time we were driving around and uh, we were talking about just stopping in the middle of nowhere and seeing if one of the guys wouldn't notice why we were stopped or say anything. And we targeted Sniff for this prank, our bassist. So we stopped just in the middle of the nowhere on the side of the road and we say no words for probably about five minutes and then we couldn't control our laughter anymore. I just burst out laughing and hit the road again. And through all of it, he said nothing never laughed, never asked about why we stopped, so we just stopped for five minutes, laughed, and kept driving for no reason. Um, one prank we haven't gotten around to, but I really want to do, is I want to wait for everyone to be asleep, except for me and the co-pilot, and I want to stop the van abruptly, maybe in a field or something, and say, hey, everyone, we gotta fucking go right now, and just start running, maybe see if someone trips on the way out, it's kind of cruel, but I love me a good prank. <laughs>